Any interesting stories since getting to the US that you can share? Um, I don't know. Oh, I mean, this isn't, this wasn't even in the US. This was in Chile, actually. I almost got kicked off my flight, which was kind of crazy. And I would have been stuck in Chile alone. Um, Hatchington. So when we went to Antarctica, you have to go there through Chile. Well, like you don't have to go through Chile, but like you have to go somewhere south, you know? But yeah, we were in, in the airport in Santiago, coming back to Florida. Also, a lot of people in Chile don't actually speak English, which made it kind of a problem. When we was getting on the plane, they were taking so long. And then eventually we worked out, like, we were using Google Translate. And then turns out, because it was a connecting flight, apparently like the flight before needs to send information to the next flight. And apparently they didn't do that. So they had to manually put in all our details. And then they were like, wait a second, we don't have enough space on this flight. We have enough space except for one. So they were like, one of you needs to go to tomorrow. <laughs> and we were like, no. Like we paid for these flights, even though technically we didn't, Mr. Beast did, but they didn't know that. Okay, and also you have to understand, we <laughs> we had been traveling for so long and we all just wanted to go home. Staying an extra day was like in our minds, that was like the equivalent of, I don't know, like the worst possible thing. Cause we <laughs> we just wanted to go home so badly. What does that even mean? Like, how, how am I gonna do that? Like you want me to go rent another Airbnb, sleep in the airport? Like, what does that mean? Go tomorrow, you know, like how, how can planes just do that? That, that has got to be the worst thing that planes do because I think basically the way it works is every flight that you go on oversells tickets. So let's say there's a hundred seats on the flight. I don't know what the number is, but let's say they'll sell like 120 tickets because they know that a certain percentage of people won't show up and they can sell extra seats. And most of the time it works. Enough people don't show up and then they just sell seats that no one shows up to and they make extra money, right? But then on the occasions where too many people show up, people get screwed over and they have to wait. And it's like ridiculous. This is what they said. They're like, originally they literally said, you have to come tomorrow. And we were just like, no, we need to go home. We're already delayed a few days, which is true. We were delayed a few days because the shoot was actually delayed because of weather in Antarctica, because it was just bad weather. So we were already delayed and we were already going back later than we were supposed to be. And they're like, no, you have to go. And then we're like, no, we're not. <laughs> and then like, for some reason, someone just like scanned our tickets and, then, and they were like, yeah, you're good to go. Which is crazy because once we got on the plane and sit down, the flight attendants came over to me and they were like, this isn't your seat. And I was like, what do you mean? And they're like, this isn't your seat. I'm like, yeah, it is. Like, and I showed them on my boarding pass, it has the seat number and it has the seat that I'm sitting in. I'm like, yeah, it is. Look, and she's like, no, you can't sit here. And I'm like, why? And they said, well, the pilots need to sit here. And I was thinking, don't the pilots need to fly the plane? Which was weird, but apparently pilots sleep during the flight. I actually intended to like take note of this and like check the seat behind me and see if pilots ever came out, but I forgot to do that. It was like a 10 hour flight from Chile to Florida and it was late. So I guess like technically the pilots like near sleep, but I don't know. That was confusing to me. Pilots have beds in the cabin. I don't think they do. But anyway, they're like, yeah, the pilots need to sit there. And I was like, well, this, I'm sitting here. <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, Whoa. and they like walked off. And what's so funny is Dream was sitting further ahead from me and Samnap and he could hear the flight attendants like talking about us. And they were like, oh, these kids, they weren't even meant to be on this flight. I don't know why they got let on. And like Dream's texting me this whole time while they're saying that, like they're calling you kids and saying you shouldn't be on the flight and they're, they're gonna physically kick you off soon. They say they're gonna physically kick you off. And I'm like, oh my God, this is gonna be epic. If they physically kick me off, I'm gonna get Samnap to film it, post that on Twitter boom they're gonna be ruined and it was gonna be awesome i actually kind of wanted to get kicked off because i was like i can get an epic video out of this but spoilers they didn't actually end up kicking us off unfortunately but oh my god it was so annoying like they had such a bad attitude towards us like they just thought we were stupid little kids for some reason and I don't even know what that would matter. Even if we were stupid little kids, like you can't just treat us like that. I don't get it. So Mr. Beast had put us in first class. So we were in like bougie seats, right? And I also looked up how much these tickets cost. They were like 5K. So it's like an expensive plane ticket. And like, which which made me even more like flabbergasted. That they were like, you need to get out. In their mind, I paid $5,000 to sit in this seat. And they're telling me to leave. Like originally for no reason. They're like, just get, you have to leave. I'm like, what? No way. And then, and then eventually they come back and I'm like, yeah, we can give you $4,000. <laughs> and I, like, I know the ticket costs more. And I was like, I paid more than that, even though I didn't pay. Why would I leave for that? Oh my God. They, they were like, they were annoying me. Like they had such like a, a bad attitude towards me. They were like, like, you know, they were, they were just so condescending. Like they were super condescending and rude and just basically saying like, yeah, like, well, you're gonna have to get off then. Like, like we can't offer you more, blah, blah, blah. And then me and Santa were like, yeah, we'll do it for 20K. 
like we'll, we'll get off for 20k and then it's so funny they they walk off and dream text me going like this is what they said kids asked for 10k each which we didn't we asked for 20k each but <laughs> they're like the, the kids asked for 10k each they're ridiculous they're ridiculous they're never gonna get that that like they're, they're so they're so ridiculous like what do, who do they think they are and i'm like oh my god this is stupid like I, I just threw out like some stupid offer right like just see what if they would give me 20k to get off fine I'll go sit in the airport. I'll go sit in like the lounge. I'll be, I'll go buy the lounge and I'll sit in there for, for a day. Um, but like they kept calling us kids. Like, why are we kids? Like, we're not even kids. I guess like everyone else was old in there, I guess. That's probably why. And then eventually they come back. I'm like, I'm like, I'm thinking in my mind, why aren't they asking other people to move? Like they're only asking the kids, you know, like ask someone else. And eventually they did. They started asking other people and other people were denying it too. And I, I don't blame them because if they paid 5K for a plane ticket and you get offered 4K to go tomorrow, like that doesn't add up. Like you lose a thousand dollars and you have to go sit in the airport for 24 hours. You know, like what is the logic there? But then how did this even work actually? I'm confused now. There was some guy sitting behind me and they offered him money and miles. Like, I don't really know what miles do, to be honest. I don't remember how many miles. It was like, it was a big number of miles. And then the guy was like, can I get that in writing? Like, I want to I wanna know that I can get these miles. And then the guy was like, I have the power to give you the miles. I'm just going to give them to you right now if you get off. And he was like, done. So the guy saved me. He, he got off. And then they actually had to make the guys behind me move to his seat so that they had a double seat because apparently the pilots need to sit together like like why do the pilots need to sleep in like first class you know i was thinking that the whole time i was like can't the pilots just sit in economy but why were they trying to get like first class people out if they offered 4k to like an economy person they would have been like like everyone would have been fighting for it you know <laughs> <laughs> but um i don't know like th that really annoyed me because they just had such a bad attitude toward us and then as soon as the situation was worked out and we took off they started being nice and i was like i don't want to be your friend i am not your friend you suck you almost kicked me off this flight and now you're gonna act all nice to me Ooh. me 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 like no I hate you. I'm not your friend and you're an L. Drop the name. I actually don't even know what it was. I kind of do want to say it. I don't know if I should, but I actually don't even remember it. But they, they're an L. <laughs> and I really wanted to get kicked off because that would... <laughs> I, I was going to tell Sam up, film. Just film. This is going to be great. But they didn't end up kicking me off. But it also would have sucked. And also, like, there was also a chance that I post that video and I looked like the L, you know? Like, like they're offering me money. They're, like, being somewhat reasonable, you know? Like, I could see a world where I post that video and people are like, like bro, just, just get off. Like, they're offering you money. Like, they're offering you $4,000. Like, like, why are you so, you know, um, you know, I could, I could see that happening. I was kind of worried about that. So I didn't really want to get kicked off. But so, yeah, I technically could have got kicked off, got $5,000 or $4,000 for free. Actually, no, I wouldn't because then I would have to pay for the other flight. I don't think. Well, I guess Mr. Beast probably still would have paid for it. Uh, that was just an annoying situation. I was kind of like scared. I was like, are they going to bring like bodyguards on to pick me up off the plane? Because Dream literally quoted them and they were like, they said they're going to take you off physically. And the thing is, they legally can do it, right? I'm pretty sure they can. But it, that doesn't even make sense. Like, can they? This is what was going to happen. If it got to that, in their mind, I paid $5,000 for a seat and then they just removed me from it. I guess they would have just given me a free flight for the next, like the next flight out. Like, I, I think they would have just scammed me. But they would have scammed me for my time, you know? And the, the problem is they can do that. I'm pretty sure they can. Which like, in my mind, it doesn't sound legal. But like, I'm pretty sure it is. But that would have been a funny Twitter video for sure. Or a TikTok. And, like, the problem is like, I'm not one of those people that will be like, guys, I mean, I don't know if you want to kick me off. You know, I have 10 million subscribers. Yeah, like I averaged like 12 million views a video. I don't know if you want to kick me off, but that would have been awesome. I would have like, like imagine that like reaction. I say that and I like just put up, I'm like, yeah, I averaged like 12 million views a video. Uh, do you want to kick me off this flight? Like, do you want to kick me off? What's your name, by the way? What's your name? Like, that <laughs> like just imagine they would have been like, Maybe they would have just doubled down and be like, whatever. Like, I don't care. We can legally do this. That, that might have made them even more mad at me. Yeah, I'm in my Karen arc. That would have been funny. But the problem is, an average person watching me say that in a video is going to think I'm a Karen. When in reality, like, I'm not. Like, they're trying to kick me off my flight for my, like, 20-hour travel journey and, like, keep me stranded in Chile, like, on my own. Like, to be fair, like, I don't think that's being a Karen. I think, I think that's unreasonable of them. They, they're the ones that over, oversold the flight because they want to make more money and they're putting me in a bad position, potentially a dangerous one because I'm stuck in Chile. I don't know how to speak Spanish. I'm all on my own because I would have been on my own. They needed to kick one person off and they were targeting me. They targeted me. And I know if I got kicked off, Satnap wasn't coming with me, nor Dream. They were going to go without me. And I don't blame them. That's completely fair. I'd have been so mad. I imagine they kicked me out and then I post the video and like the average person watching it thinks I'm a Karen. And that would have been such an L. Oh my God. Patches. 
Get over here. Oh my gosh, you listen to me.